Hello guys and welcome back to another very very nice video in-depth video and you guys can learn a lot from this video the top stocks that I'm watching for tomorrow so a lot of setups and again you know I'm making this video so that you guys can actually play my alerts and understand you know why I kind of you know alert this like we had you know that spy call which I talked about in in the yesterday's uh, video um, on the watch list and you know I've alerted spy calls before close on yesterday and we had a very nice 200% right at open we even you know played the Mara breakout which I talked about in this video and then we had a very nice you know around 70% gain um, on our Mara calls playing that breakout um, on the chart and overall, you know, hope you guys kind of like understand and, you know, uh, study up on what I'm looking at, what I'm watching for this week. And before I actually start the video, just make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and let me know in the comments if you guys do have any questions. If you guys do want to support me, you know, just kind of like a tip, like a, you know, cost of a frappe, you guys do get some cool emojis. But overall, let's get into the video. Now, I'm going to timestamp everything um, down below so you guys can actually kind of skip the video and there's going to be like chapters so you guys can actually skip the video and you guys can save a lot of time because this is going to be the whole watch list so let's first of all scale uh let's do a recap on what actually happened today so we kind of did swing spy calls um around uh, yesterday so yesterday we swung spy calls and we had a very very nice gap up you know which I closed right at open for a 200% gain so this is a screenshot for the 200% gain that was a very very nice play we bought off our you know spy signal off that 50 EMS so overall that was a very nice green trade but over in during lunchtime we got the news that the first Omicron uh, virus variant, someone actually got it in California. So that was like the first case ever. So we had kind of like intense drop. And for SPY, you know, I always start my videos with talking about SPY. I'm looking still bearish and I'm watching that 446.74 level. I will be grabbing calls at this level because this is a the 100 EMA level. So the 100 EMA is kind of like my golden signal um they have a 100 percent win rate the past year on the golden signals so i'll be looking to grab spy calls at 40 446 um, around 447 and looking to possibly scalp that bounce so that is all for spy looking at some more downside and hopefully a bounce to play this uh 100 ema the next stock that i'm looking at is Tesla and Tesla looks very very nice and the thing is we should be breaking out okay tomorrow so tomorrow is going to be a huge day for Tesla because as you guys can see you know one more candle and we're gonna break out to either side now this is a neutral pattern so we could play it either way so we can play puts um, at open or we could play calls once we do break out probably on Friday but the thing about Tesla is this is a neutral pattern, so we can play um, puts. Now, the thing is, just watch the closer time frames, like the 4-hour, 1-hour, 15 minutes, because once we do break this, I'll be looking to alert puts with a very, very tight stop loss. So we have to break this level for Tesla um, for it to be bearish. And, you know, to play calls, I'm just going to wait, but mostly looking bearish for for Tesla tomorrow if we dump at open um, but this is a very very nice play it's gonna be a matter of time before Tesla breaks out and the cool part is that it is a neutral pattern so the market doesn't have to be bullish or bearish because you can play it either way the next company is Jets which is a airlines ETF now I've talked about airlines yet and I haven't alerted um, anything with airlines and we broke that support and in my video I made a video on like Black Friday stocks cheap Black Friday stocks you know stocks that are kind of like in the lows to buy and you know, I was talking that we were going to be testing this level okay we kind of tried testing that 
uh, level and it broke down okay that was the same video where I made like a whole presentation for you guys and you know I've talked about how Baba would always whenever you know it would break a resistance or support it would always try to test that level and with jets what we had was you know airlines tried to break that resistance but it couldn't and now what I'm looking at is 18.11 for jets so airlines I'm waiting for it to hit kind of the support down below this is kind of like the recession zone now you know we kind of have the Omicron so we have you no know, travel bans vaccines not working so 18.11 is a very very nice level for jets and again please take notes please study up and again it'll be a matter of time before I'll actually alert either leap call options or shares the next stock that I'm looking at is Walmart okay Walmart looks very very interesting and this is gonna be on the weekly time frame we have a very very nice ascending triangle on the weekly and again it is at support so the thing with Walmart is that it needs to hold this support so needs to hold this level for Walmart because I am looking to play calls on it but if we start breaking this okay in the weekly chart we start breaking down it's gonna be looking very very bearish I'm not like confident enough to get get puts on it but I'm just watching for a possible bounce because again this is ascending triangle or making higher highs and keep in mind this is on the weekly setup okay we're looking very very nice on the weekly we have a very very nice major resistance 150 level for all Walmart so Walmart is definitely on very very high watch um, for tomorrow it needs to hold that level so that is going to be a very very interesting play and just set these alerts and breakout alerts the next one is PayPal so PayPal we have Another very, very interesting one. And this was also kind of like on the Black Friday. So, you know, as I said, where we always try to test the support and the resistance. So PayPal is another great example. Like we broke, okay, we broke the support and we tried coming back to test that. But it didn't handle it, okay? Most of the times we try to test. And over here again, we tried testing this support. So we're about to hit 175, that major, major level for PayPal. And what it needs to do is it needs to close above. Okay, our stop loss is going to be below 175 for PayPal. And I'm looking at possibly leap call options. And the thing is, since this is a major support, we either trade sideways. You know, it's going to be testing that support a lot of times for PayPal. So this also looks very, very nice with a tight stop loss. The next one is going to be SQ. And SQ actually got some news that they're actually changing. Uh, I think they're changing like their name to Block, which is very weird. Like Facebook changed their name to Metaverse. Square is going to be changing their corporate name to Block. Like they're focusing on like blockchain, crypto. So Squ Square looks very, very interesting. I'm taking a look at the weekly and... I'm not sure how this news is going to really affect Square, but 190 or 191.81 is a major, major support level for Square. And the cool part is that both Square and PayPal are kind of about to hit that very, very nice major support level. So I'm definitely watching these for tomorrow because if we do have a red day, I'm looking at some dip buys for both PayPal and Square. The next one is going to be Uber and Uber is a very, very, very weird stock because we have a lot of these levels and Uber has been respecting these levels and I'm taking a look, you know, study up, look at my levels. We're having a very nice support at 33.49 for Uber. So I'm looking, you know, I'm taking a look at a possible um, buy for leaps at 33.49. Forty-nine, And, you know, as you guys can see, you know, we have resistance, a lot of supports, and we're kind of just trading sideways. And these supports and resistance are looking very, very nice for Uber. The chart looks very, very nice. And below that, we're kind of in that COVID level that we were with um, 
you know, uh, with airlines. And the thing you have to understand is that, you know, um, if you're in, in it for like the long term, if you do believe that this company will kind of benefit in the long term and that can you really uh, buy the fear right now and probably hold it for a couple months. And it really depends upon COVID because most of these stocks have dropped because of the Omicron, virus, uh, Omicron variant. And, you know, we had kind of like a whole pullback from that variant and Uber is down like another 5%. So I'm watching that level on for Uber. Let's take a look at QQQ, which is kind of like the last one. And what we have is a head and shoulder for QQQ, which is a very, very bearish pattern. And I was also taking a look at the Elliott waves. So actually a race to mind, but again, we're taking a look at the Elliott waves and our Elliott waves are on point. We're taking a look at a ABC correction. We just know, don't know how much lower it can drop. But again, I've made a lot of videos, you know, I've talked about we had a correction coming in and I've made a video for kind of like why to take this video off and basically, you know, why tech was bearish. And we had that whole ABC correction playing out this week, which is very, very nice, even for, you know, stocks like Amazon. Uh, but overall, very, very simple video on the stocks that I'm watching. Hope you guys kind of enjoyed this video. Kind of long video, but again, you guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to just leave a like. That is all. And if you guys do want to support me, you guys can join and kind of just get these cool emojis. Overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely looking to alert at least Tesla for tomorrow. So please keep an eye um, on Tesla and if you guys do kind of want to invite uh, my bot people have been asking me how do you get my alerts you just kind of go to this website smallstreetbets.vip or any server kind of that has my bot in it and you can basically type invite and you guys have to DM me or just contact me if you guys do want to purchase my bot but overall hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely will be a very very interesting day for tomorrow see you guys tomorrow at market open